Friday's Guardian next, one of the hot topic issues of the day. This is property ownership. And the Express, of course, led with it as well. Are the Tories on the right track with this policy, Stephen? What do you think? Well, I mean, the, the first question is, is this actually a new policy? This is a, effectively a relaunch of the right to buy scheme. Yeah. And uh, Michael Gove is, uh, has, has announced that Boris Johnson will announce well, effectively tomorrow, so Thursday, yeah. that um, people will be allowed to purchase their own homes using housing benefit as part of their income. So this is, this would have to be a house that they're in and using housing benefit to pay the rent on, and it's a, it's what it's social housing, is it? it it's does social housing. Actually, housing. I haven't seen the. No, it's, I think it's both. I think yeah. there are two sides to this. One is housing associations, mm. which is yeah. social housing. But the, as far as I can read it, there seems to be an idea that any house that you want to buy, yes, yes it does. You don't have to be in it, so to speak. This is this is a house that is going to be made yes. available. But you wouldn't be able to force the owner to sell to you. Would no, you? Would no. You the the, the issue about social housing, I think, is that that when, when Margaret Thatcher offered the right to buy, the problem with it was, was not necessarily the right to buy because the idea was that it was one for one, so you replaced it. It was the discounts. Yeah. So what they're saying here is it's going to cost £3 billion a year, but actually, oh, by the way, we're not going to do that. We'll do a couple of pilot schemes in the Midlands mm. and actually it'll be capped within existing expenditure. In yeah. other words, it's, a, as you, so it's, it's yeah. PR. It's yeah. PR. Yeah. And, and Did you, you say, Simon, you have some experience with housing associations? and so oh, I'm a chairman of a housing yeah. association called Hexagon, which is in South, the five boroughs in South East London. Would it help if people were able to buy more of these well, or is well, that the, not the point? No, the point about it is that a lot of people, even if using benefit, and you make the point that you can't, you know, it still doesn't give you the deposit. Well, mm. this is this the problem. They, they, they say you can use your housing benefit. There's two issues here. Yeah. The first one is you they still go to commercial benefit. lenders yeah. who, are, who are being told to accept that as income. Mm. But the reality is you don't get housing benefit if you have save or you don't get um, uh, universal credit unless you've got savings over 16000 Exactly. It's the perfect pounds, cash which, to... which is the deposit you require in order to buy a home. Yeah. So it, I don't know who's going to qualify. And the daft thing about doing it in social housing is that there's a very simple calculation how housing associations work. We own properties which people live in, their homes, we manage their homes for them and on the basis of that asset we borrow and in order yeah. to build new homes yeah. and then the idea is we let them out at social rent so they're cheap, yeah. housing benefits less and so on and so forth. If you start selling off the asset, yeah. you can raise less money, yes. which means it's you can build away less the homes. Of housing associations to yeah, and they keep on saying it's, it's one replaced to one, but it that never, ever happened before. No, well, that is the red line. It usually, the, the suspicion is that Tory governments use this kind of policy yeah. to actually diminish the status of and, and, and the availability of social... And policy. you might remember way back when, uh, in Westminster, of course, yeah. there was a famous case in which actually it was used to gerrymander the result on the basis that the more people who bought their homes lived in a particular area, the more they would vote Conservative. My, the first place I ever lived in, I was just renting, or uh, in fact, to be on a sofa surfing in, in a friend's flat, but his father had bought it. He bought uh, uh, in a place called Osprey. Heights. It was in Battersea near Clapham Junction. It was part of the uh, of um, of uh, Wandsworth, and um, it had basically been bought by some developers from the council. The council had essentially evicted all the tenants on the premise that it was there was some dangerous amount of asbestos in the building. This was the rumour anyway that went around. And then uh, once they were out, they, they fixed it up and flogged it to these developers. <laughs> da da absolutely dangerous amount of collateral, though. Yeah, <laughs> Can I just also point out, as three Sussex residents right now, the idea of taking housing benefit, timesing it by three and a half, and allowing yourself to buy property with it seems almost non-existent. Yeah. Yes, I was going to say, you'd be very lucky to get a dog kennel somewhere out to the west of the city well, at the know, moment. Maybe they're going to terraform Lincolnshire or something. I don't know. <laughs>